This is the Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Metal Hawk together with the Transformers Titans Return Siege on Cybertron Deluxe Class Metal Hawk. We're going to do a two for one review of both Metal Hawk figures in the Generations line. Now, this Legacy Evolution Metal Hawk I picked up from Robo Robo in Singapore. And this Metal Hawk is courtesy of my buddy Dion, who actually sold me this set. This set just had the Magnus Prime and Metal Hawk. He was letting go of both figures for a very reasonable price. Uh, unfortunately, the set did not include the, the three other uh, characters, but that's okay because I was really just interested in the Metal Hawk and the Magnus Prime figures. So let's crack these bad boys open. And here are both Metal Hawk figures out of packaging. And boy, these figures look terrific. I love the colors. I love the engineering. I love the design of both figures. They have great accessories. Both figures look to be pretty cool rendition of the Metal Hawk character from the anime. And at the same time, the Pretender toy. It's not, we're not, we're not getting an actual Pretender toy, but it does give a great homage to that toy. So let's take a closer look at the details of both of these figures. So head to toe, Voyager Metal Hawk stands at about 17 centimeters tall or about six and three quarters inches tall. Uh, Deluxe class Metal Hawk stands at about 14 centimeters tall or about five and a half inches tall. For comparisons, here is Deluxe Metal Hawk with Deluxe Legacy Needle Nose. Here is Voyager Metal Hawk with a couple of other pretenders we've had in the Generations line. Uh, finally, a, an Autobot pretender. I'm glad uh, we got a robot version instead of a human version of Metal Hawk. And in case you didn't already know, this Voyager Metal Hawk borrows a significant amount of the engineering and the mold from the Kingdom Cyclonus mold. So here is the Generations Kingdom Cyclonus, both versions, the Selects version and the Kingdom version. Obviously, Cyclonus is much taller because of his tall head sculpt, but you see the chest line where the collarbone should be. They're about the same in height uh, from the shoulders down to the toes. You can see the, the shoulder uh, pieces look to be very familiar, very similar, and I think identical to Cyclonus. You see the bicep pieces, they're very, they're, I think they're, they're the same. They've just remolded the forearms. The hips and thighs look to be identical. They've remolded the, the lower legs. The feet look to be the same. Uh, the wings obviously are different. The head sculpt obviously is different. Backpack and all that is different. Chest is different and all that. But lots of uh, borrowed pieces from the Cyclonus mold. So let's talk about the details of each figure. Let's begin with Deluxe Class Metal Hawk. I thought this was a great, great redeco. If you didn't already know, this is a retool of Trigger Happy, Titans Return Trigger Happy. Unfortunately, I no longer have both versions of Trigger Happy. It's, God, seller's regret. Can't believe I sold off my Target Masters. Anyway, uh, but I am glad that I have the mold once again because this is one of the best molds in, in the Titans Return line. So, very cool looking uh, rendition of Metal Hawk. You've got a dark gold type of plastic that they molded the chest in. Uh, they painted the head sculpt for the Titan Master in gold and silver. I like that. I like this gold actually despite not being a little bit too dark because in the old toy it was done in like gold chrome if i'm not mistaken so this is a nice attempt you got metallic finish here and this one has a as a pearlesque type of semi-metallic glossy uh, gold plastic but you know i hope this thing doesn't go brittle uh, the rest of the figure has some blue plastic some really nice gray plastic red plastic just absolute premium plastic the guns do look a little bit cheap but when you hold them feel them they actually do feel premium he comes with uh two blasters uh done in this glossy silver plastic and you can combine these two i think let's see yeah, you can combine it to form a bigger gun or a vehicle for uh, the Titan Master. 
I guess this was this was the gimmick back in the day back in 2016 2015 2016 so yeah you could write it like a sort of a blaster ship or or of sorts like not really my thing uh, if you ask me so uh let's put him back on okay so fantastic detail all around i really like the glossy semi-metallic finish of the plastic they used for blue and the gold really really cool a uh, nice red plastic right here autobot faction symbol for articulation the neck yeah, is on a ball joint because it really is on a ball joint for the titan master uh the shoulders can go in and out forward and backward you got a bicep swivel hinge elbow wrist can go in and out because of transformation it's got a waist swivel the hips legs you can do the splits you do forward and backward thigh swivel hinge knees and it can bend more than 90 degrees because of transformation. No rocker tilt. Uh, during uh, the Prime Wars trilogy, they still had not standardized that rocker tilt, but the feet can move up and down because of transformation. So on to the main course, we have the Voyager class Legacy Evolution Metal Hawk. Now he comes with various weapons. He comes with his swords, which we've seen, I think in the cartoon. Not sure how accurate it is, but it, I think it's pretty good. I think it's a very, very good design. I think in the cartoon it's a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, I do like this one. I love that it's like a big, heavy blade. And the best part about this sword accessory is it's made of very, very hard, premium, uh, glossy, semi-metallic gray plastic. Thank you, Hasbro, for not turning this into another soft and flimsy PVC, uh, soft PVC plastic a sword it i love that it's it's hard you know it's always nice if it's hard and yeah, rather than soft right and you can plug it back in here if you want to and it's not it's going to take the floor it's not going to be deformed or anything like that well done hasbro okay then he comes with his double blaster gun which obviously can split and form two individual blaster pistols you can store these, I think, in robot mode. You can obviously store them on the pegs, on the mech tech. Mech tech, people still even use mech tech. Uh, the five millimeter uh, peg holes right there, if they kind of look like null rays. So yeah, again, the plastic they used is the same type of premium quality plastic they used uh, for the sword. Very, very good plastic. Kudos to the designers and proper plastic selection very very good okay the figure itself looks fantastic uh very happy with it i thought i was gonna hate this yellowy gold plastic that they used i kind of wish they could have painted it i mean it doesn't have to be this dark gold they could have painted it in a lighter shade of gold it doesn't have to be chrome but i mean I don't know was there too much cost restrictions to actually get it into to give it some gold metallic finish uh it, it's okay as it is it's not horrible if you can you can see right here the chest has been molded in this really nice glossy burlesque semi-metallic i'm going to say semi-metallic finish of yellow mustard yellow plastic it's it's not poop mustard not like this one it's uh, more of the dijon mustard uh shade of yellow so the helmet on the head sculpt is the same plastic as well as the crotch piece i mean it wouldn't hurt to have painted this one splotched on some really nice metallic paint apps but okay i'll talk about that at the end of the video the wings are molded in this really nice matte red plastic i love this I mean, wow. Uh, the the fins, I don't think, match. Uh, is it just my imagination? Or I feel it doesn't match. And interesting to note here is it used to be a hinge. And it looks still looks like a hinge. But they've completely solidified that it no longer works as a hinge. So, I mean, they, they kind of saved money on that. And they could have... Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Okay, so... Interesting, they really redesigned the Cyclonus wing. They've, the same 
piece right here is from Cyclonus, but they've remolded that fin to have these, uh, I guess, side blasters, the wing blasters. And once they've attached it, it no longer is a functional hinge. I love, I love the gray plastic, uh, some silver, metallic silver highlights right here, red paint apps here. Really, really good, good design. I think it's a great, great redesign uh, of the Cyclonus mold. And I, I honestly didn't think it was going to work, but it really works. The head is on a ball joint, very tight. You still have the waist rotation. Shoulders can go in and out, and you have that filler piece underneath the shoulders. The arms can go forward and backward. You got a bicep swivel. Hinge elbow, wrist can go in and out because of transformation. Some looseness, but not so much. The hips, you can do, make the legs do the splits. You can do forward and backward, thigh swivel. Uh, they haven't solved the issue with the Cyclonus knees. It's still the same. I mean, it, I don't think they could have fixed or improved on it because it's dependent on the transformation engineering. So, But yeah. one thing I did notice, it, it kind of stops. Not like Cyclonus that just sinks in. So they found a way to just make it stop. And that's the proper way to transform the knee. So instead of this one bending, you have this one as his knee hinge. And then the feet, same with Cyclonus. It's got the rocker tilt and a little bit of up and down motion because of transformation. Transformation. We will begin with Titan's Return Metal Hawk. You want to remove the Titan Master and just position him into a seated position so it'll fit in the cockpit properly. Rotate the waist piece like this. And then detach the shoulder pieces from the bottom first. And then outward like this. Go ahead and fold the fists, fold the guns, fold the fists, and fold the guns. Fold the wings and tab them onto the forearms. Same thing on the other side. Then you want to fold, stretch out the cockpit, untab that waist piece or that waist joint. You want to go ahead and rotate that entire torso assembly. Pop this open so it's easier. And then at this point, maybe we can put the Titan Master in. Okay. Tab that nose cone in close the cockpit. Combine the legs together, fold up the feet like this, go ahead and fold both legs, and then just tab in the shins, I suppose, or not the shins, the ankles onto the torso. And I just bend and slide them over here and tab them onto the knees or the legs, then tab the arms here. And there you go. There is Trigger Happy or <laughs> the Metal Hawk repaint of Trigger Happy in his Cybertronian jet mode. Man, this is still a cool looking jet mode. He does have his landing gear right here, uh, just the front. And if you want landing gear at the rear, you're gonna have to, I guess, plug in the weapons. And there you go. Very, very nice. Absolutely amazing. Still an amazing, amazing mold, figure mold to this day. And let's do some comparisons with this guy. Uh, let's bring in back Needle Nose. I mean, in robot mode, Needle Nose was way taller than this Metal Hawk figure, but in jet mode, Needle Nose just compresses into a smaller jet and Metal Hawk just becomes like a huge, huge starfighter. Like, they could really totally do a dogfight. Like, all right, to transform him, fold out the wings. Go ahead and fold in the fists. Okay, and then instead of untabbing the shoulders like Cyclonus, you want to do the chest first. Then you can move the shoulders back. And then you can unpeg the backpack or the back part, go ahead and fold up uh, the head and raise that nose cone and then just fold the tip of the nose cone. Man, you see how much money they saved here? There's very little engineering. They removed a ton of engineering on the nose cone, but uh, and then we'll talk about that in the end. Fold back the chest, fold back the backpack and then swivel uh, this piece right here. Pop up the back panels, fold up the feet, 
fold, fold. Okay, same thing on the other side, fold, fold, fold that up, and then just fold the knees. It's much easier this time around. Uh, I think they solved that. They made it a little bit loose, so that it's easier to fold the knees inside the legs. Tab the legs together, and then finally tab the legs onto that back part. Okay, finally, you just have to, instead of tabbing the arms here on the back like Cyclonus, and you'll have the reverse swing, what you do is you tab the arms here up front. Tab the shoulders onto the thighs first, which the Cyclonus figure did not do properly. And then you can now properly tab the forearms onto that back. And then finally, just fold and tab the wings. And does he have landing gear? No, he does not. Cyclonus had landing gear. So again, more engineering removed. They couldn't paint this, okay? With the money they saved, they couldn't, anyway. Okay, uh, and there is Metal Hawk in his, uh, is this Cybertronian or anime-styled, Earth-based Cybertronian jet? <laughs> okay, and then these uh, weapons. I love this, that they've put some uh, rectangular pegs. I, I, was, I was worried that you'd have to sort of like plug it in this way. It's actually still cool, uh, but, you know, I think this was better. So tab those in that way. And then the sword. Now, officially, the instructions say to plug it in this way. This is sort of his like battle mode. So when he does dogfights, he can stab uh, Decepticons with his sword. But if you ask me, quite frankly, I think the sword fits better reversed this way. Right? It's more streamlined. All right. So... Very, very cool looking alt mode. I love it. I love how the colors work, how the colors blend. Silver, gray, uh, gray plastic looks amazing. The bl dark blue with the matte red finish just looks absolutely spot on. It does feel like the Metal Hawk from the cartoons or the comic books. Okay, let's bring back the two Cyclonus figures I showed off earlier, both now in their jet mode. So yeah okay okay let me just fix it okay uh yeah it's you know, it's basically the same same weight same mass you can still feel that massiveness uh, although uh somehow i feel he's heavier i don't know why is that the reason they couldn't paint the chest uh despite removing a lot of the compression engineering of this figure they increased the weight Versus Cyclonus, I'm not going to bust out my scale at this time, but uh, I, I just feel that he's heavier. So that's a good thing. Okay, so yeah, very cool. And so some final thoughts on these Metal Hawk figures. I think they're great. I absolutely love both figures. Let's begin with the Deluxe Class figure. It's a great, great figure because it originates from a great mold, the Trigger Happy mold. And I think it's a, it's a wonderful redesign and redeco. I love the metallic paint on the Titan Masters uh, head sculpt, the overall color uh, scheme of this figure, despite being a dark gold uh, plastic uh, that they used for the torso, I think really fits. I mean, it's a great rendition of Metal Hawk. Not super accurate to any pretender or the animation uh, version of, of Metal Hawk, but it is a good figure. Now, on to the Legacy Evolution Voyager Metal Hawk. I think it's a great rendition of the anime Metal Hawk. The colors are great. This gold uh, plastic torso, frankly, I felt was gonna be was gonna, was not gonna work, but it kind of works. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's it's not super great in the sense that I wish they could have painted it uh, with some metallic gold uh, tempos or, or paint apps. He's got some great weapons. I love the, col the colors, the dark blue, dark red. Uh, they really mix it well with the the lighter colors of the, the gray, uh, the pearlesque gray plastic and that gold torso. It is a wonderful rendition of Metal Hawk, and I couldn't be pleased. Now, having said all of that, um, my only comment for this one is I wish, I don't know. I don't see, I don't know how they could have improved this figure because 
uh, it's, they're just using an older mold, so they did the best they could, and it, it's great. It's going to get a 9 out of 10. This figure, I believe, is a good attempt at repurposing that Cyclonus mold. I honestly didn't think it was going to work. Uh, I just feel that because they saved a lot of money from removing a lot of the engineering, particularly the nose cone, the wings, the landing gear, they removed so much from the Cyclonus mold. I wish they could have used the money saved to just give us a little bit of gold paint apps. I mean, they didn't have to paint the whole torso. They could have just painted this whole area right here, just the breast area, maybe center of the abs. Uh, was that too much to ask? But I honestly think there is some significant savings with that removed engineering uh, from the original figure that they could have just given us just a little bit of gold paint and that would have made this a perfect figure. And because of that, I'm going to give the figure a 9.5 out of 10. So maybe I'll bump him up to a 9.5 as well, just so we'll have an even figure. Both figures are going to get a 9.5 out of 10. Man, if you're not a big fan of Metal Hawk, you've never heard of the character, I think you should still pick up these figures if you collect the Generations line because they're very, very good figures of the character. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Titan's Return Siege on Cybertron Deluxe Class Metal Hawk, as well as this Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Metal Hawk. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.